another powerful tool uh, that you'll find very useful <coughs> that you have with promotion is the brush container. Uh, and I highly recommend you make sure it's clicked global. I'll explain why later. Uh, but basically, what this allows you to do with brushes when you grab, I just pressed, I think it's the B key by default to allow me to grab a piece of paper. And if you press B twice, you can free hand grab. So if you need to be more careful. Uh, and so now you can see I can actually start drawing with this piece of art. Uh, I can also, with other keys, apply transforms and apply to the art, including enlarging and shrinking. I'm going to press Shift B to get back to the original state of this brush before I started messing around with it with the shortcut keys. And what I can do is I can right click into one of these black spaces to reserve that brush for future use. And yes, you can fill an entire container of blocks and save that container for future use. Uh, so that that's really handy uh, right off the bat. But the other really nice thing about it is this is actually also saving the palette information. Get back to the standard palette earlier. So all of these color indices here are saved. Uh, these colors are saved into the brush itself. So if I wanted to try making alternate color variations for a character, for instance, or a piece of user interface. Um, then I can quickly create a backup or, or uh, an easy way back to the default palette by grab, grabbing a piece of art and right-clicking to stick it in here. Uh, and then I can start making changes to the palette. For instance, I'm going to pick this skin tone here and start to turn it into a Martian. And as you can see, if I grab this, this again and put it in here, it also reflects the color change. So you can grab parts of the image that will remind you what palette that is. And now if I want to go get back, currently I could just press the undo key. But let's say I couldn't do that. Let's say I say I reloaded after a previous project. Uh, I could actually just click on this brush in the container. And even though it looks, uh, it still has the Martian skin right now because it's being viewed over the art. If I go into colors, get palette from brush, it brings it back to the default palette. So not only is this great for um, reserving pieces of art to use later, let's say leaves them in, in a tree or a face that's going to be used for many, many frames of an animation or things of that sort. Not only can you save that data for, for reuse, but you're also saving um, the palette in a very convenient way that's also shown you uh, because you're carefully selecting which piece of art is going to be shown. Uh, it's a, a great way to keep track of 